What up, players? It's Wobas Tay up in this mood. Oh, Papa Nurgle visited me last night and gave me a bounty of his newest plague. <coughs> Anyways, this video, if you haven't been able to deduce from the title, is uh, my entry into my good buddy Old Git's little competition that he has going on. I'm not just making this because I love to compete and I, I want the grand prize and, and all that stuff, but just to hopefully raise awareness and to um, get more people to go to his channel. Uh, he's a guy that I have started seeing videos posted a, a little while ago. I remember a, a, um, when, he, when he first started getting into posting because of his Warhammer Fantasy Beastmen army. It's a long time ago. Here we go. And I remember seeing this first video that he put up and seven months ago? Is that for real? Oh boy. And I, I just love this paint scheme he was able to get with them. And then he started doing these ghouls that look very much like my own and uh, I was just really, really happy with it. I think everybody should subscribe to his channel. I haven't had the time to sit down and really watch everything he's been doing for, for anybody. But, uh, or for anybody for that matter, but I, I have been checking up his posts on the Google Plus. He's on Google Plus, so you should check him out there and hook up with him there if you haven't already subscribed. The subscription contest is for 100 subscribers, and I hope that he gets a lot more because um, it's my ho hope that one day when I am a venerable uh, grumbler. What do they call those dwarves? The old grumblers, they call them um, white beards, long beards, long beards. And I'm a long beard in, in, in the hobby. And I've been in it for, you know, a couple, like 20, 30 more years that I'll, I will still be making videos. That's my hope for everybody. We build this community and we just keep opening it up and, and getting everybody to be a part of it. So uh, thank you, Old Git, for putting this contest out. So I've got a couple of the questions here that I'm going to answer for you. Actually, I let's see if I can remember them off the top of my head. First thing, what is my favorite system? I love me some Warhammer Fantasy. I love it because it was the first system that I ever got into with Games Workshop. So I was one of the, um, one of the guys that got in with Orcs and Goblins, and I just loved the, the aesthetic of all the all the armies, really. That's why I buy so much stuff. I love to collect things, and um, I'm such a hoarder, but I love to paint, and uh, as I'm getting older, I like being more, you know, growing my artistic skills and stuff, and um, everything about the hobby is is really based on the love that sparked when I got into Warhammer Fantasy. So... Uh, that's got to be definitely my favorite. Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay was the was the little gateway RPG that brought me into the world, and um, yeah, I've been loving myself in the hobby ever since. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound right. Loving myself, I've been loving the hobby ever since. <coughs> All right, question number two: What would I like to see more of on your channel? And I gotta say, I. I haven't had the time to really sit down and watch, but I love I've, everything I've been hearing about bolt action. So I want to check that out because World War II in like 28 millimeter scale sounds really interesting to me. So let's go with that for now. Until I know more about bolt action, keep making videos about the system, about the rules, about how much, how enjoyable it is. A big thing at my local hobby community is Flames of War. Um, it's not as big, it's pretty underground and niche. Uh, not that many people play it, but it I think it was really popular for a long time. A lot of people in my area still have some old armies, and uh, it was really a big scale kind of thing. To, so to see a game on a smaller scale like this, where um, people battle in squads and um, infantry or and vehicles like at this scale, rather than like really small, almost looking like little little toys, uh, like like tiny little um, army man toys, would be would be cool. I would love to see more about the system and everything. So uh, definitely going to sit down and watch these and all the videos that you have. Old Git, just keep making them. The best thing about this uh, community is that we 
just get experience by making videos. We find out what we like, our style, battle reports, uh, painting tutorials, just rambles. I love just watching people's channels grow and watching my own channel grow and mature and evolve as technology gets better, as we're able to afford better technology. And um, I, I, I love watching just people's fan base grow and people's content get better and better. So that's that's my hope for you, old git. And what would I do if I had the uh, if I was lucky enough to win this? If random.org and the spirits of the machine god are with me, then look up 20 pound conversion. 31 35. Like I looked this up 5 minutes earlier and it was something like $32. So, I wonder if this changes 31 35 all the time. No. Okay, I maybe I just imagined it. So, I'm going to count Forge World as Games Workshop because they're basically the same company and I've got a huge box of Death Core of Krieg guys waiting for me to get into. So if I am lucky enough to win, I love these transfer sheets so much. If you haven't seen my World Eaters pre-heresy transfer sheet review, I would love to get my hands on one of these. I know I'm definitely going to need it because I think I might have this much infantry waiting for me. And um, I think the amount of stuff they packed into this transfer sheet is fantastic from the aquilas the double-headed eagles to the individual numbers and just the insignia look at all this stuff unbelievably insane i love it i want it i i if if i don't win this contest i might just put up a video and beg the community please buy me one because forge world doesn't like doing business with me i have to go through my bank and there's all these unnecessary unneeded steps that's just a huge hassle for me yeah, nobody on eBay ever has it, so I can't ever buy it on eBay because that's kind of like where I get a lot of my e uh, Forge World stuff too. Don't tell anybody. Um, but that's what I would love. I would love it. So there's that. And old Git, yeah, just keep on going and keep on making videos. Really happy that you are doing this. And I wish you many, many more fruitful and uh, rewarding years in the hobby. Bravo, brother.